Well, my final race of the week is the Isha Hunters Chase. And this is a hunter, so I thought still would have been doing this, but as it's on a park course, he's probably decided it's an ordinary race and has left it to me. So anyway, two mile one furlong, not to 105. Uh, at the top we've got Aglone Chimes for Graham Clutterbuck, Glisk for Martin Lidham, Ruby Swirl for Alex Cherry, and Jemima Cartwheel for Stu Gray. So a field of four. One more than we had last time. And away we go. And Glisk is the first one to show from Aglone Chimes, Ruby Swirl, and Jemima Cartwheel. Like the pond fence is going to be the first one they take. And over it they go. Mistake by Aglone Chimes in third place, but Glisk is setting the pace. You know, Jemima Cartwheel in second. Aglone Chimes back in third, and Ruby Swirl just the early back marker as they take that one. Be the second last. Next time round, this one will be the last. And then also for the Everton racing uphill then there towards the finishing line. And then they'll swing out right-handed. All these, this now. Right. Memorable sand down course. Easy to remember your way around here, isn't it, really? You get a nice long run there to the next fence where they filled in the water. And then you go over the quick double and the ditch and the three railway fences then the pond and then a plain one and a ditch. And the home straight, although technically that ditch should be a double fence, and then you jump it as a ditch on the first circuit, you jump it as a plain fence on the second circuit, well, the final circuit. Gray did make that course on SO6, I don't know he made it for SO7, and people are just not using it, but it's if he hasn't made it for SO7 yet, maybe that's something that he could do in all the spare time he's going to get in the next few weeks, when he hasn't got all the sorting out from this to do sitting there listening to this tearing his hair out saying I've got to do my breeding and play PGA golf or whatever else is he does um, rather than do that but anyway Glisk is the leader from Jemima Cartwheel second oh and Jemima Cartwheel a crashing fall and Jemima Cartwheel is out for the man who normally commentates on these races Stu Gray and leaves just the three Glisk gets over that ditch nicely with a clear lead from Aglone Chimes in second and Ruby Swirl in third. They're racing down towards the railways now and over the first of them they go, over the second they go and over the third they're going to go and they all jumped all three nicely. And Glisk continues to lead. About four or five lengths clear of Aglone Chimes and Ruby Swirl. As they begin to swing now towards home. Not just three to jump. The pond is next. And Glisk is five lengths clear of Aglone Chimes. Ruby Swirl has just totally dropped off now and gone. That one's nailed on for third, I would think. Unless one of these two falls at the moment, they're jumping okay. They've got two more to go, and Glisk is about five lengths clear. But Aglone Chimes is making significant progress and looks to be making ground on the leader. Remember, it's an uphill finish that might favour the chasing horse as they come down to the business end of the race. Over the second last they go, and a slow jump by Aglone Chimes might have presented this to Glisk, who's just got to pop the last, I think, now. Over he goes, go it, she goes, Glisk's over it in the lead. Then comes Aglone Chimes in second, Ruby Swirl back in third, but racing up to the line it's going to be another one for Martin Leedham I think with the red run colours carriage of victory in the Whitbread earlier today now they win the 105 Hunter with Glisk the winner Aglone Chimes second and Ruby Swirl back in third so there we go then pretty easy win to be fair for Glisk who's been knocking on the door a few times throughout the season uh, Glisk is the winner for Martin Lira Maglone Chimes for Graham Clutterbuck was second. Ruby Swirl for Alex Cherry was third. And Jemima Carton for Stuber was a faller. So that's me done for the day then. I'm done for the week on the jumps. And I'll hand you over to Stu who's going to take you through the rest of today's card.